Hi, my name is Peyton Snyder. I'm a sixth grade English language arts teacher, and this is the presentation for Artifact 8. Artifact 8 covers four different standards and criterion, but we will be starting with standard 4.1, criterion 12, collaborate with another educator. During the course iTech 7400, which is teaching technology and student engagement, we were tasked with creating an engaged learning project to implement with our students. For that assignment, we were asked to create a rough draft and after that rough draft, post it to request feedback from colleagues while also providing feedback to colleagues on their rough draft. We would then make revisions to the rough draft and then submit our final draft for approval. And once it was approved, implement that engaged learning project. I developed my engaged learning project with another teacher so that we could include interdisciplinary standards within math, English language arts, social studies, and our family and consumer science classes. The project was titled Food Truck Frenzy. Students would assume the role as an entrepreneur to create their own food truck business. Um, we would do research, have expert witnesses or experts to come and talk to the students. They would develop marketing plans, strategy, um, as well as look at budgets and things in math. And then within the facts class, they would actually get to cook and deliver some of their food. As mentioned previously, during the iTech 7400 course, we were asked to post our engaged learning project rough draft to a discussion board where other people in our class were asked to give us feedback on the assignment. So Andrea was so kind as to give wonderful feedback for us. Um, I was specifically asking for feedback on ideas to make the assignment more collaborative because we were struggling figuring out how to do that since our students don't follow each other to every class. Um, we're in a block schedule, so students don't necessarily have all of the same classes all day long, um, which we thought would cause an issue. But Andrea suggested instead of groups, making it partners, which kind of helped open us up a little bit. Um, she also suggested that we make most of the work in the English language arts class, which is where they would have their partner. So the majority of the work that they would complete would happen during the ELA class and the lessons for the other disciplines would happen within those classes. They would bring that work and that knowledge that they gained into ELA, um, which would be my classroom to implement it within their project. I had additionally provided feedback to two of my classmates during this time. The first was for Quandra. She had an awesome, um, an awesome engaged learning project that focused a lot on um, the civil rights movement within her social studies class. She wasn't really sure what she wanted feedback from, so I gave her some generic things. And being an ELA teacher, the thing that I suggested was finding novels or paired texts to go along with the social studies based lesson that she created and developed. Um, <clears throat> because I think bringing in multiple disciplines and standards would benefit the students, especially for this type of project, because there's a lot of great literature out there. I also provided feedback to Andrea. She was specifically asking for help incorporating technology into the project. Um, she had a wonderful project as well. So my suggestions for incorporating technology was using Flip um, as a way to record and present their podcasts. Um, because you would be able to uh, have an assigned playlist and they'd be easy for students to go and listen to and watch. Artifact 8 also includes standard 4.3 and criterion 14, which is facilitating virtual learning activities featuring expert guests to advance learning objectives. My engaged learning project was called Food Truck Frenzy. It is multidisciplinary between math, ELA, social studies, and the connections class, family and consumer science. During their project, students will learn a lot about entrepreneurship, business, the history of the Chilean minor accident, which is an event where there were miners trapped underground and their families and loved ones camped out at the site for days on end, um, waiting for them to be rescued. So the idea of, of a solution would be food trucks on site to help um, get those families food and keep them going. The bulk of the project happens during ELA with their ELA teacher, which is me. The students will be engaged in class discussion throughout the unit, and they will work collaboratively in partner pairs to study the mining accident and write an objective summary on their findings with text evidence. After that, um, the students will work collaboratively to figure out solutions for hunger relief, which is when we land on the food truck idea. Um, and after we decide on that we are going to connect with experts in the community to kind of teach our students and educate them on entrepreneurship and specifically food truck and food truck culture all what all of that looks like to help them develop their business plan and their project for this project we had two different experts uh, speak with our students the first was Ms. wojohn who is a 
business owner in our community. Um, she owns one or two different small businesses that she came and spoke to our students about in person in the media center, um, which was fantastic. We also conferenced virtually via teams with the owners of the smash burger food truck called smash hit. Um, and that was just a quick little 15, 20 minute conference via teams with each of my classes where they talked more specifically about the food truck business and world entrepreneurship and those topics. Students were also able to ask them questions based on the assignment instructions and the rubrics that I gave them for their project so that they could get real insight as to what their business plan and their food truck should include. Artifact 8 also covers Standard 4.4 and Criterion 15, demonstrate effective communication with all student supporters. The Food Truck Frenzy project was a very big undertaking, including multiple different subject areas. So communication with all stakeholders, students, parents, and community was really important for this project to be effective. Because this project was such a large undertaking, communication was really important. We had several means of communication among teachers to students, teachers to student supporters, whether that's parents, guardians, um, as well as the school to the community. For our learning management system, which is Canvas, um, there is a feature that is turned on that allows for any new post, new assignment, grade update, new announcement, um, notifications get sent to not only the students, but also their observers, which are their parents and guardians. So every announcement post of an assignment module created, that notification was sent out so that they were aware consistently throughout the project of due dates, um, submission deadlines, when something was updated, whether that be a resource or a new piece of the assignment. Um, so that was a consistent piece of communication through the Canvas LMS. To speak directly with our parents, we use as a district parent square, um, which is a means of um, announcements as well as an inbox. So I would send weekly um, notifications to parents, letting them know the update throughout the project. Since it is, again, a very large project that incorporates several classes, it was important that we keep them updated and consistent with our communication so there's no lapse or disconnect between us and them. Additionally, there is Canvas Inbox where we can communicate also directly with the students as well as their observers. Um, with, whether that's a missing assignment, a great update, just saying, hey, can, can you send this to me again? Um, whatever the case, that's also a direct means of communication that we utilized. Um, within Canvas, we also posted announcements regularly, updating our students on what was going on in class that day. During different points of the project, our school uh, marketing specialist um, and community outreach would post updates on our school social media to kind of let the parents and community see what we've got going on. So there is a post from when we had Miss Wojohn, one of our um, community experts, come in and speak to our students. Additionally, um, because this is such a large project with multiple teachers communicating with each other, we utilized Canvas as well um, within a course card to communicate with each other and post what we were working on and updates um, for each of our individual classes. Artifact 8 also covers Standard 5.2, Criterion 7, aligning to content area standards. As mentioned previously, our Food Truck Frenzy project was interdisciplinary, so there were several subjects whose standards were covered, but as the ELA teacher, I'm primarily going to focus on the ELA standards that were addressed. This seems like a lot of information, but the overview is our informational explanatory unit, which is a writing unit. Um, students needed to cite textual evidence to support their analysis. They needed to integrate information from different media or formats. So um, we looked at, we used Safe Engine Search. We looked, we used um, Galileo, things like that for students to gather research. We watched videos in class, um, integrating that different media. We also engaged effectively in collaborative discussions throughout the the project interpreting information in diverse media and formats um, and explain how it contributes to a text that's something that we focused on and then presenting their claims and findings at the end of this project they were asked to develop a business plan proposal via some sort of presentation tool so that hits that standard as well this project was filled with technology integration as you can see we used Microsoft Teams to collaborate with the experts um, in business, uh, specifically the food truck entrepreneurs for Smash Burgers. Our Canvas LMS, we focused really hard on blended learning within our district. So everything that we did was accessible via Canvas so students could work from home and remotely on this project at any point in time. Students wrote their essays, their objective summaries, all of those things on Microsoft Word because we are a Microsoft school district. 
we utilize, since this was a interdisciplinary unit, we used the um, defined learning, project-based learning software program online to help deliver the overall project guidelines. So it was one place for students to go, no matter which class they were in, to access the information needed for the project. For the presentation at the end of the unit or the end of the project, we gave a range of options for presentation tools that students could use because we wanted to make sure that the students felt comfortable with whatever medium they felt like using since it was a presentation. So we gave the options of Canva, PowerPoint, a flip video or PowerPoint or excuse me, Microsoft Sway because those are all things that students are familiar with and it gave a range of options for submission of that final project. We also utilized the safe search engine called safe search kids for students to research um, and help plan for their business proposals, uh, researching the history of the Chilean miners and Chilean culture and food, because that was what the project revolved around. Um, and it, it's just a much safer way for students to gather credible, reliable information that is age appropriate. Thank you so much for listening.